Hello Capricorn, Sun and Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. Okay. We have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And then we have reconciliation. And then we have past life relationship with getting to know each other. I really want to focus on this card because getting to know each other, I mean, it can represent getting to know somebody new, but I highly doubt it. I do feel like this is more so that three of pentacles like energy. Um, and it does speak of like teamwork, but it also speaks of coming together with somebody and repairing something. Um, and in this case, it does kind of look like somebody wants to repair a relationship that has essentially fallen apart. Now, Keep in mind, this could be you, Capricorn, wanting to repair things with somebody that you had an ending with, or somebody wanting to repair things with you that you've had an ending with. So we'll see how this all plays out, but I do feel like somebody does want to fix slash repair things with somebody who they had uh, an ending with already. Or it could very well be at the verge of coming to an end and somebody's really trying to come in and like try to salvage the relationship. So let's get into it. We're gonna focus on you first, Capricorn. And then we're going to jump over to your person. So keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay. Sometimes that happens. So just pick and choose who you resonate more so with. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Capricorn currently view this relationship? We have, okay, we got the King of Wands. We also have... The Hierophant, and then we also have the Empress. Okay, let's look at your person. How does this person currently view this relationship with Capricorn? We have the lovers, we also have the nine of wands, and then we also have the two of swords. The bottom of the deck we do have, here we go, the king of swords. Then we also have temperance with the seven of pentacles, and then we have judgment, and then we have justice with the ten of cups, and then there goes that tower with the hierophant. I want to focus on you first, and then uh, we'll 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 jump over to you, Capricorn. Whoever this King of Swords is, I do feel like this is a person that you had uh, an ending with already. Now. You could have been in a long-term committed relationship with this King of Swords at some point, but it, it's pretty evident that this relationship has already come to an end here between you and this King of Swords. Like I said, and I was already kind of picking up on that in the very beginning of the spread, this person is going to try to come back around your way and salvage the relationship that they share with you. With the Seven of Pentacles being out here, this is kind of insinuating that this person has invested a lot of time and energy into this relationship. Again, you guys could have even been together for years but they're going to try to come in and salvage this relationship here between you and them they're also very determined to essentially show you that things this time around can totally be different here between you and them now here's my thing and this is not going to resonate for all of you, but I'm kind of getting that for some of you. I kind of feel like um, this person may have thought that the grass was greener on the other side. Um, and they're starting to kind of realize, oh shit, it's not. Because I am kind of getting that for, for some of you who have dealt with somebody who may have left you to go be with somebody else. Or may have just left you in general because they may have felt like there was something you know better out there for them. But I am kind of getting like an overall energy of somebody who basically thought that the grass is greener on the other side but they're starting to kind of realize oh shit it, it's not actually greener on the other side here here's the problem though with the king of wands being out here i gotta be honest i don't feel like this king of wands is this king of swords i feel like this king of wands is a whole nother human that's attached to you um this could even be somebody that you currently find yourself in a committed relationship with and we'll kind of dive a little bit more into like the relationship um, that you currently find yourself in, because there is something that I do want to kind of mention when it comes down to your relationship. But just be aware that 
you do have someone from your past resurfacing back into your life, basically wanting to repair things with you and salvage the relationship in itself. Um, they might go as far as to tell you that, you know, they're serious about you and what is it they want with you, um, you know, this time around. But we'll see how this all plays out. But I, I keep wanting to fucking say that this person... They either left you to go be with somebody else because they thought the grass was greener over there or they just basically outright left you because they thought maybe there's something better out there for them and they're starting to realize, oh shit, that's not the fucking case. Um, especially with the Nine of Wands to the Two of Swords. That's kind of like the epitome of having like a little bit of a rude awakening when it comes down to like these encounters, let's go ahead and call it that, these encounters that they've essentially had with one person in particular, or just many people, to be honest. I want to break this person down a little bit more, though. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands. We have the King of Swords again, with the Seven of Pentacles again, and then we have the Judgment card again for this person. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. Here we go. With the Three of Cups and the Five of Swords. I kind of feel like, again, it's, it's, it's kind of getting a little bit repetitive, right? But I feel like this person thought that the grass might be greener on the other side. And the moment that they gravitated towards the other side, you know, they're starting to kind of realize, oh shit, that's not necessarily the case. Okay, and it is causing this this king of swords to do a whole lot of reflecting um, on this decision that they chose to make, you know, as far as possibly leaving you to go be with somebody else. And they're starting to realize like, oh, shit, that person's a real piece of shit. And, you know, it could just be that simple. Right. But I just feel like this person does have a lot of regret when it comes down to this decision that they made as far as like either gravitating towards someone else because they thought the grass might be greener over there or just leaving you in hopes that they might find something better than what it is that they once upon a time share with you and they're kind of realizing ah uh, yeah i haven't quite found anything better than what it is that i was once upon a time in so this person is acknowledging the fact that while they were with you they had something stabled they had something promising and for whatever reason, they threw it away, whether it was because they wanted to go be with somebody else or they thought, well, maybe there's just something better out there for me. You know what I mean? It does kind of have that feel, but there's just that double confirmation right there that the, these encounters that they've had with either like multiple people or just one person in particular is putting a lot of things into perspective for this person is causing this person to basically realize that they made a mistake. Now, now that we got that out the way, right? I want to focus on what you got going on here. Uh, we have the King of Wands to the Empress, okay? Um, so let, let, let's talk about it. Um, King of Wands, man. King of Wands is the first king that comes out out of all of the kings. You got the King of Wands and you got the King of Swords. Uh, then you got the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. And then boom, that's when you hit Emperor status. That's when they become a true pair to you. Now, the only reason why I'm throwing this out there, and it's not a negative, so don't freak out. But the only reason why I'm throwing this out there is because... You know, typically when, you know, you see the King of Wands, you know, attached to an Empress, um, it, it, it can describe like a, like a codependency like energy. So this King of Wands might be extremely codependent off of you. You might even experience that or have already experienced that while being involved with this person. But King of Wands is, is somebody who has a lot of growing up to do Capricorn. I'm not going to sugarcoat this shit. Uh, it is somebody who has a lot of growing up to do. Um, I also kind of feel like for some of you, you might start to essentially, uh, feel like while being in this relationship with this person, you might have that sense of, what is the word that I'm looking for? Of lack. You might start to, to, to experience that, that, that sense of, of lack, like, like a feeling like, you know, you don't necessarily have everything that you essentially want um, within this dynamic that you share with this person. But from the looks of it, right, um, you know, it kind of looks like you want a commitment with this King of Wands and nothing wrong with that. But it's just kind of like a fair warning that, you know, you're going to experience, unfortunately, a lot of ups and downs, right, with this, this King of Wands of yours, mainly because there's a lot of growing up that they need to kind of do on their end to become a real true pair to you, okay? Um, so then there's that. How does Capricorn currently feel? 
We have the Three of Cups. We also have the Eight of Swords. And then we have the Page of Wands. I want to look at this Three of Cups. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. So, like I said, you're going to experience those ups and downs. And I was already kind of getting that while being in this dynamic that you share with this, this King of Wands of yours. And that has a lot to do with, like... It has a lot to do with the fact that this king of wands has a lot of growing up that they need to do. I'm sorry. Like, there's no other way for me to kind of word this. Um, I, I just kind of feel like it has a lot to do with, like, the stuff that they're into. Like, what's, what's a good example? Um, I don't know. Like, maybe maybe that this king of wands, you know, has a tendency of spending a little bit too much time with their girlfriends or their boys. You know what I mean? Um, you might not like that. You might not be fond of that. Um, maybe this person, I don't know. I just kind of feel like the, the, the stage that where you're at right now in your life, um, it just doesn't really, this King of Wands doesn't really compliment you like that. Um, and again, it has a lot to do with the things that they're into. Like, you know, this person might be into hanging out with their boys all the time or hanging out with their girlfriends all the time. Or like, um, what else could this person possibly be into? Like, it, whatever it is that this person's into, as far as their lifestyle is concerned, it's going to essentially clash with you, right? Because you've been through all of the phases already. You know, you're showing up as an empress. So an empress is all of the queens in one. You've already went through a lot of phases and stages, right, in your life. So the stuff that this person's into, you've been there, done that, right? Like, let's say, for example, your person likes to, like, party a whole lot and you're just like yeah I'm kind of over that partying scene like I'm ready to settle down I'm ready to have a family like your person not they may not be over that whole partying scene you know what I mean whatever it is that this person's into as far as their lifestyle is concerned it's gonna rub you the wrong way it's gonna clash with you it's gonna cause you to feel you know that sense of lack it's gonna cause you to feel like well what the hell am I doing with this person it's gonna cause you to feel all sorts of different types of ways now I'm not saying that you know, there is no potential here between you and this King of Wands. There's a great deal of potential here, but it does kind of require this King of Wands of yours to grow the hell up, to be completely honest, to grow the hell up. Yeah, more of the story. How does this person to the right of you? So going back to this past person of yours, right? Because I don't want to lose you guys. We got the Ten of Swords. We got the Four of Cups and then the Eight of Pentacles. So there's that double confirmation, right? That you do have somebody here kind of lurking in the background. It is somebody, you know, that you once upon a time had a romantic relationship with that's definitely doing a whole lot of reflecting, doing a whole lot of dwelling when it comes down to like the relationship that they once upon a time had with you and the overall energy as far as wanting to repair things with you and fix things with you. It's totally there. Here's my thing though. Right now, I don't see this person gravitating towards you. That's that's one thing that I'm kind of getting primarily from this person to the right of me. I don't see any sort of like exchange going on between you and this person. I feel like if anything, right now they're in that state of reflection mode where they're kind of reflecting on where they went wrong. They're kind of reflecting on how they kind of handled this whole entire situation here between you and them. But they are kind of sitting back with a lot of regret. Not going to take that away from this person. There is a lot of regret that comes with this person when it comes down to, you know, the role that they kind of played in all of this, right? But there is like an overall energy of wanting to repair things with you. But there is a, also another overall energy of them essentially feeling like it might be too late. It might be too late. And that could have a lot to do with maybe a lot of time has gone by, right? And maybe they might feel like you don't want anything to do with them. I also kind of feel like this person's not aware of what's going on in your personal life. Like this person is probably unaware that you're currently in a connection with somebody, you know? Um, this does kind of feel like somebody who is kind of oblivious as to what's really going on within your own personal life. Right now, you know, they're just sitting in an overall energy of wanting to fix things with you, wanting to repair things with you, sitting back with a lot of regret. Um, and we'll see, like, what actions they actually plan on taking towards you because right now they're just sitting back reflecting, wanting to fix things with you, but there's no actual exchange happening here just yet between you and this person, not from what I can see. 
what actions will this person take towards Capricorn or moving forward? We have the King of Cups, we got the Four of Pentacles, and then we have the uh, Two of Pentacles. So right now they're in that state of feeling extremely indecisive on what to do. Like their heart's telling them to repair things with you. Their heart is basically telling them to try to salvage this relationship the best way that they possibly can. But another part of them is kind of telling them that it might just be a little bit too fucking late. You know, they might just have to just accept the fact that they may have messed things up with you and there's no going back from that. Right now, this person doesn't really know what to do. I do want to look a little bit more into that, you know, as far as like what future actions this person plans on taking. Because right now they're just like, should I do it or should I not do it? Should I like tell them how I feel and what I what I want out of this situation or should I just keep it to myself? Like that's kind of where they're at right now. And I do want to look a little bit more into that because I don't want to leave this reading like, oh, well, they don't know if they want to gravitate towards you or not. I don't want to do that to you guys, right? But going back to your relationship, because your relationship, um, it obviously has nothing to do with this person to the right of me. But like I said, it's like, you're starting to kind of realize that this person's lifestyle and their way of being just in general, it does kind of clash with like what it is that you want for yourself and what you feel like you're actually like ready for. Like I said, the the thing is, is that this king just, king of wands, they just, they just have a lot of growing up that they need to do to be able to kind of meet you at your level. You know, the, the stuff that this person's into, like as far as like partying is concerned and you know, you're so past that, dude. Like, you're so past that. You, you know, as far as you're concerned, been there, done that. You know what I mean? But let, let's see what else we can kind of get. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's keep going. We have the Queen of Cups, we have the Moon, then we have the Ten of Wands, and then we also have Justice. Mm. I don't feel like this is kind of like clarifying the, 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 the King of Wands per se. I kind of feel like at times you secretly wonder where would you be at had the two of you being you and this person to the right of me, well, where where would you where would you be right now, um, if the two of you were to essentially be able to kind of, you know, work things out, you know, when the the ending actually happened, like where would you guys be at right now? I I think that you secretly tend to think about that while being in this dynamic that you share with this person. You secretly think like, man, I wonder. I wonder if we would have gotten married by now had we been able to come together and honestly, you know, hash out our differences. Like, I wonder, but oh, well, it is what it is. It's over, you know? That's kind of the overall energy that I am kind of getting from you, but I feel like you secretly think about this person and the relationship that you once upon a time had with this person, and I wonder, like, where where, where would we be right now? You know, that's just kind of what I'm getting primarily from you, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. What actions will Capricorn take towards this person or moving forward? We got the Five of Cups. I definitely want to clarify that with the Nine of Cups. And then we also have the uh, Six of Wands. Tell me more about the Five of Cups. Okay. We have the Ten of Wands. And then we also have the King of Swords. So, like, when it comes down to, like, your relationship with this King of Wands, like, you're going to come to terms with the fact, if you haven't already, that this King of Wands has a lot of growing up that they need to do um, to be able to kind of meet you at your level. Um, there's going to be certain things that this person does that you're not going to, that you're not going to like, that you're not going to be fond of, that you're going to look at, oh my God, that's so childish of them, you know? Like, but one thing that I do like about you is that you're very realistic, like, Granted, this person might do things that you don't necessarily like. Like, they might have the tendency of, you know, really enjoying spending time with their boys or their girlfriends or whatever. And you may not like that, you know, but 
you're kind of coming to terms with the fact that, well, nobody's perfect, right? There, there's a lot that you love about this person and there's certain things that you don't like about this person. It's kind of like the whole 80-20 thing, you know? Like, there's like 80% of, you know, things that you essentially like about this King of Wands and then there's that fucking 20 that you just can't fucking stand and just irks you and it just dry humps your last nerve. But you kind of have this realistic way of looking at things. Like, you know what? Listen, I'm not perfect. They're not perfect. It is what it is, right? And you're just learning to just kind of accept, you know, this lifestyle that they have. And this lifestyle that they have, it doesn't, how do I say this? It doesn't have anything to do with like cheating or anything like that. It's a, it's something that they like to do, something that they enjoy to do that you just may not like. It just might dry hump your last nerve, like them constantly hanging out with their boys and stuff like that, or playing video games or like whatever the hell they're into. You know what I mean? It just, it might, it might really irk you. It might, it might be something that you don't necessarily like, but you're learning to accept it and just live with it, you know, because that's who they are. Um, so then there's that you're taking the good and the bad moral of the story but of course i'm not picking up on an overall energy of someone from your past resurfacing back into your life on your end um just yet because they're still trying to figure out that's something that they want to do but keep in mind too um as you're kind of working through these energies uh, with your significant other i do kind of feel like a lot of you are going to start to find yourself um, thinking about this past person of yours quite a bit and that has a lot to do with the simple fact that while well, you're showing up as an empress an empress regardless of your gender you can be a dude for all I know an empress is somebody who's very intuitive so and on an intuitive level you are picking up on this person energetically speaking and you might be wondering like why the fuck is this person crossing my mind or you know why am I finding myself constantly thinking about this person or even dwelling on the relationship that I have with this person you know um that's why <laughs> because they're definitely thinking about you that's for sure all right um <laughs> what actions will this person take towards capricorn or moving forward we have the empress we got the knight of cups with the seven of cups and then we have the page of wands come on man are we gonna do this or not i feel like this person is like <laughs> This person's kind of worried. I am kind of getting that. Which I'm not shocked. They like, have the nine of wands to the ten of swords to the seven of cups out here. I feel like this person's kind of worried because it's like they want to approach you. They want to approach you. But they're kind of hung up on like, well, what are they going to say? You know, and like, what are they going to say? How are they going to react to me? Like, it does kind of have that feel. It is something that this person's definitely worried about. But they know that if they if they want to repair things with you, they have to kind of bust a move here. But it's like they, they're still in that overall energy of like, should I say something or should I not say something? Okay, and if I do say something, like, well, what are they gonna say to me? Like, how are they gonna react to me? Like, are they gonna are they gonna really want to come back together with me? Yes or no? Like, these are things that I need to know. But it's like there's only one way to honestly find out, and that does kind of require this person to bust a move in your direction, and whatever response and reaction they get out of you is the response and the reaction that they get out of you. I do want to kind of emphasize that this person is completely oblivious to the fact that you currently find yourself in a connection elsewhere they're not consciously aware of it at all nor do i feel like that's something that's crossing this person's mind either which is kind of interesting if you think about it okay will this person take action towards capricorn let me get four we have the tower we have the wheel of fortune we have the six of pentacles and then we also have the ace of swords yes Yes. You know what's interesting is that when you ask like a yes or no question, you always want to look for the Ace of Swords. Always want to look for that. So I'm glad that the Ace of Swords came out because that's a hard yes that you will eventually hear from this person when. I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. This person needs to kind of move past this, but what are they going to say to me? You know, if I do say something, you know, if I do shoot them a text, like, are they going to curse me the hell out? Or like, what, what's going to happen? There's only one way to know what the hell is going to happen and it does kind of require them to bust a move and they'll eventually come to terms with that reality um their whole goal here is that they they, they, they do want to 
start over with you that's for sure like they do want to start over with you they do want to fix things with you they do want to repair things with you and all of this you're going to be hearing it from the horse's mouth anyways but they will bust a move double confirmation they're gonna do it now it may not be this week it might be next week but it does kind of require this person to just kind of get out of their head about this whole entire situation and just bust a move and whatever happens happens now i'm not saying that you're going to get back together with them I'm not saying that at all, but I am saying that this is what's coming towards you. It is coming towards you. You're going to hear from them. It's kind of besides the point, right? Um, and I feel like you can feel it coming too. The fact that you're already picking up on this person out of nowhere is kind of telling me that the moment that this person does kind of bust their move in your direction, you're going to feel that shit coming. Any advice for... Capricorn in regards to this spread. We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And then we also have, come on, engagement. At the bottom of the deck, we do have this could be the one with express your love. Then we have let go control issues. And then we also have wedding, soulmate. And then we also have codependency and give your relationship a chance and then free yourself. There's that double confirmation right there that this person will eventually get out of their head about this whole entire situation and bust their move um, in your direction in hopes that they can salvage the relationship that has already fallen apart here between you and them. I gotta be honest, okay? I kind of feel like as far as like your current relationship is concerned, Capricorn, it, if the two of you continue at it, if the two of you continue to build, you know, upon this relationship here between you and this person, this person can be, you know, able to eventually meet you at your level to the point where they become a true pair to you. Right now they're not, but that doesn't mean that the relationship is doomed. It just kind of means that your person has a lot of growing up that they need to kind of do on their end. From the looks of it, you've accepted the fact that, yeah, yeah, you know what? This person's not perfect. You know, they're not perfect. I'm not perfect, but that's okay. I love this person. I want to be with this person and that's okay. That's okay. But I kind of feel like it is going to take some time for this person to kind of meet you at your level to the point where, you know, you feel 100%, you know, content and satisfied, right, within your relationship with this person. Not to say that you're not currently at the moment, but there's certain things that this person does, and I feel like it has a lot to do with their lifestyle that you're just not, like, you just don't approve of, you know what I mean? But nobody's perfect and you have that full understanding of that but this relationship man between you and this person it has a lot of potential and here's that double confirmation to insinuate that it does have a lot of potential even though at times you might feel like it does not have a lot of potential but it has a lot to do with like how different you guys are you know you've you've been there done that you know what I mean and I feel like this person is still kind of like how do I say it they just have a lot of growing up that they need to do. I don't know what else to kind of, I don't know how else to kind of put it, but it's not coming from a place of them being deceiving or fucking cheating on you or anything like that. It has nothing to do with that. It has something to do with this person's lifestyle. It's like the things that they're into, like hanging out with their friends all the time or like playing video games or like whatever. I don't, I don't really know what this person's into, but, but you catch my drift. You know, there's a lot of potential here. There is a lot of potential here. And eventually this person will like, you know, get over the, these things that they currently find themselves extremely interested in. Um, and they'll be able to kind of meet you at your level at that point. But you seem pretty happy and content with this person. They're not perfect. Nobody is. Um, but it is what it is, right? Um, I also kind of feel like, where where was it? I lost it. I also kind of feel like um, your relationship with this person in particular is going to start to greatly improve to where like, let's say like a problem arises, like you guys are going to be better communicators because I am kind of getting that, especially with let go um, and express your love being out here when a situation arises, like you guys are going to be better communicators towards one another. You guys are going to, you know, reach that point where you guys are going to be really good at solving problems and, and coming together and working as a team. That could be something that some of you guys struggle with, but I do see that improving in time. All right. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Jesus, that was a long reading. Um, that's what I have for you. For those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram username is Milagros Tarot. No numbers, no underscores, just Milagros Tarot. Um, it's also linked in the description box down below, but hopefully this reading helped and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye.